upside it down, fix itself. <laughs> you gotta love it. So you want to learn manual flight on the DJI Avada 2, you say? Well, you've come to the right place, because guess what? I learned on one of these types of DJI drones. Now, before we start the step-by-step -step manual flying process, there's a few things you have to take into consideration. Number one, you need this controller in your life. Like, you cannot fly manual with this controller. Those things that you will hear and practice today, you should obviously not do this on a windy day. That's number one. And number two, go to a big wide open place that you're comfortable flying and that you're used to flying. That's the best way to practice new things. The very first thing that you have to do, like you have to do it, is take a flat screwdriver right where this little arrow is in the back here and peel up this plastic rubber piece you must peel it back off the controller why so you can access two screws in the back there and you start tightening those two screws what it's going to do is take away the spring action as you start tightening those two screws it will not have the spring in it to go up and down anymore that spring action will go away and essentially what that means is that if you push this up and leave it up it's not going to go down until you push it down. And if you push it down and leave it down, it's not going to go back to the center until you center it. Try and when you're tightening the screws, not to tighten them too tight because you don't want it to be stiff. Find a nice comfortable point where it's not springy and it's moving nice and slow. Once you've done that and you found your sweet spot so you could push up and down, go to the back and press down and close back up this rubber guarded section over here. You want to pull both sticks down and in. There you go, your motor start. Now, even if you put this back to center, it won't do anything. So go ahead and center that stick. Now, when you're ready to take off, just push up and it'll fly just like normal. You're flying the same way in normal mode. This is what you're doing. But the only difference is now you're getting used to, oh my gosh, I can't have the stick up. Oh my gosh, I can't have the stick down. I got to learn to find that center point. That's your new mission now. Learn to fly and center the drone. That's it. You're going to fly around just like that. Remember, right? If you leave it up, it's not going to center itself. It's going to keep going up and up and up and up until you push down. And then when you push down, it's going to keep coming down and down and down and down and down. You have got to center it. It's going to feel very uncomfortable at first, but you got to learn to do it and not just say, oh yeah, I did it. Do it to the point where you feel comfortable, where you're rolling around. You can go low, you can center up yourself. You can raise the altitude yourself. You're feeling normal about it. You're moving up and down. You're not worried. You're not uncomfortable that it's not springing back to the center point. You can, you're okay with pulling it up and leaving it. You're okay with pulling it down and leaving it. You're okay with finding that center point easily. It doesn't have to be perfect, but easily and still rocking the drone. You must be comfortable flying like that. Like, like you have to be able to do that before you go into manual. And that's the first step. And then when you get comfortable in normal mode, I was like in normal mode just now, but I went to sports mode because I'm already comfortable in sports mode. You want to be very good. You want to be rolling up, going to fly, and you never, ever, ever, ever have to put the springs back on the controller. You want this to be your life. You want this to be the way you fly 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single day. Every time you go to fly the Avada with the intention of learning manual, you know that this is just one of those things that you must do. And if you choose to fly the Avada with the controller without killing the spring on, on the left stick, then what's going to happen is that spring is going to keep pushing you and leaving you centered. And then essentially that's one less thing that you're not doing because the drone is doing it for you. Basically, it's your job now to maintain altitude. That's it. 
That's the first step in flying manual, guys. That brings us right into the second step. So let's say you've been doing this for a couple of times and you feel comfortable in sports mode, normal mode. Let's say you've been doing it for a week, whatever, however long it takes for you to get comfortable flying your Avada like this. Let's say you've done it. Now, let's just say there's an emergency. You got to fix your goggles or something. What do you do? Because if you leave it going down, it's going down. If you leave it going up, it's going up. So what do you do if you need to go in your goggles and your sticks are stuck? Right now, mine's stuck in the down position. Well, okay, I need to get in my goggles. Boom. Hit the pause button. Hit the pause button. Doesn't even matter that my stick was left in the down position. The drone will pause exactly where it is. What if you're in the up position? Doesn't matter. Hit that pause button. See, my sticks are still in the up position, but my height is still 63 feet. Normally, you wouldn't have to hit the pause button. Normally, all you have to do is loose the sticks. Why? Because the spring will center it up back for you. But guess what? You got no spring now. So you got to learn to use this button. Do you understand? You got no spring. So if you push it up and you leave it up, it's going to the moon. If you push it down, you leave it down, it's going to the ground unless you hit that pause button or or unless you center it yourself and normally we're so used to flying with it spring loaded the spring will center it and keep it in place for us so we don't normally titivate with any button so get in the habit of using that pause button so that's the second thing let's talk about the third and last thing that you're going to be practicing and remember, do it one at a time. Start with the, with the sticks first. Get used to it. You've mastered that. Okay, practice the pause button, the pause button, the pause button, the pause button. You're used to that? Okay, now we're on the third step. The third step is coming over to settings, going over into control, going over into remote control, and then come down all the way. See, it says custom button. Normally, that custom button is set to sports mode. Set that custom button to manual mode. And it says confirm. You see here it's asking you about the sticks, right? That's why I told you to do the sticks first. And get used to it. And then hit confirm. Well, am I jumping into manual once I click the switch and it's the end of the world? I'll drop out the sky? No. Just because you set it in manual mode doesn't mean you're completely flying manual. DJI's got the, got the training wheels on you, all right? So set that to manual and then come back go to gain an expo and make sure and make sure m mode limit is turned on it it's it's on by default but still go and check it i had mine turned off and because i fly manual right but when you get it it should be on just confirm that it's on now like i said you go in a big open space go up high a lot of people don't realize the higher you are, the safer you are because you have time to recover before you hit the ground. So go up high, center up your stick or hit pause and then go into manual mode. Manual mode's going to come up. See, I'm still loosening the sticks. The drone's not going to fly away into manual mode. It's telling me it wants to make sure you have that left stick control properly. Lower it according to the green lever. See, it's going there. And then once you hit a certain point, boom, it's in there. You're in manual mode. So now you're kind of flying manual, but you're not. Why? Because manual, you can do flips. Can I do flips? No, I can't do flips here. Can I do flips going right? No, I can't do flips going right. I can't do flips going left. Can I flip forward if I push a stick forward? No, I can't flip going forward. Can I flip going back if I push a stick back? No, I can't flip going back. I can only fly back. So you're in manual, but you're not in fully, fully unlocked manual. You're like in a sports mode manual, right? That gives you more of a manual feel. But look, the drone is much more responsive. It's much more fat. It's much faster and you can get used to that. Trust me, baby. If you can fly like this for a good couple of days, and you are comfortable flying like this, you're only two steps away. You're only two steps away, I promise you, from flying manual. I've been there, I've done it. I never wanted to do the home built stuff. There you go. And if you ever have any trouble again, right? Even while you're in that manual mode, hit the pause button. 
it's going to jump out of manual mode it's going to go in normal again it doesn't matter if the stick is all the way down or up as long as you hit that brake button you're out of manual you can chill take a breather put the goggles back on make sure you go to a nice big open space again make sure it's not windy you don't want to be practicing this stuff when it's windy right wait till it's not windy and there you go come out back go back into manual and get in the habit of checking that stick boom switch to manual mode there you go there you go this is like this is like like a, a mode in the home built fpvs i think we call it angle mode where you can only go so much or you can only go so much like you won't be able to flip over the drone is protecting you from flipping over that's all it's doing it's preventing you from flipping all the time right now you should be flipping but it's blocking the angles it's preventing you from flipping all of the time if now just to show you right i'll hit pause see why that pause button is important how close you are to manual right i'll go back into settings I'll come over back to control, go over to remote control, go to gain and expo, and just toggle this off. That's it. That one step is how close you were to flying full manual. Now, when I go into manual mode, boom, and I switch manual, look what happens when I push it to the right. See that? It doesn't block me. So all all you were getting was a little safety block that prevents you from rolling over like this so you don't roll over lose orientation and crash that's all you are but you're that close to manual guys you're that close i'm flipping and i lose orientation oh my god hit the, the switch it pauses and that's why it's so important for you to learn this pause button that's it guys that's how close you are to manual if you follow those three steps i told you just those three steps you'll be that close to flying manual that close and then i'll do another video that's gonna really push you over the edge and have you flying manual and you guys are gonna love me for it you're gonna subscribe you're gonna say thank you x for making this video and showing us how simple it is if we take it in the right stages sometimes you don't know what to do first you don't know what to do second you don't know what to do third whoa upside it down fix itself <laughs> you gotta love it guys i hope this video was helpful and it shows you just how simple it is i'll come back in two weeks make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you remind me in the comment section below that you're looking out for that video so i know that you are applying yourself that you are progressing and not just defaulting back to what's comfortable it's not hard guys you can get this far and as you can see you're only one toggle away from manual if you guys are looking for LUTs for your DJI Avada 2, Avada 1, FPV drone, Mavics, Minis, whatever you got, head over to www.dronexfactor.com. I've got 60 LUTs in a pack over there. Buy them. There's got to be LUTs in there for you. Also, if you have more questions for me or you need more help from me, you can reach out to me personally on Patreon. Just head over to my Patreon, become a member. It's $1 a month. That's only $12 a year. And you can text me on Patreon. That message will come straight to my phone like a text message. And I will get you any help that I can. Make sure that you share this video. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. And make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I release the next video for the next step. Practice, 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 guys. You guys got about two weeks. And then I'll be back with another video showing you the next steps. And with that, you'll be flying manual. All right, it was have fun hanging out with you guys today, and I will catch you in the next video. Learning flights with Xavier Spence.